The Shimonoseki Campaign, also known as the Shimonoseki War, refers to a series of battles in 1863 and 1864. They were fought to control the Shimonoseki Straits between Kyushu and Honshu Islands. The warring sides were the rebels of the Choshu Domain, which is now Yamaguchi Prefecture, and the naval forces of Great Britain, France, the Netherlands, and the United States. Despite the efforts by the Tokugawa shogunate to establish peace at the time, many feudal lords, or daimyos, were bitterly against the shogunate's open-door policy to foreign trade. Their anger eventually grew into open conflict. When the teenage Emperor Komei broke with a centuries-old tradition and started taking an active role in government. On March 11 and April 11, 1863, he issued the order to expel barbarians. The Choshu clan, under Daimyo Mori Takachika, began expelling foreigners, openly defying the shogunate. He then ordered his forces to fire without warning on all foreign ships moving through the Shibonoseki Strait. Before the firing started, foreign diplomats and military already expected what was coming. U.S. Navy Captain David McDougall stated on June 12, 1863, General opinion is that the government of Japan is on the eve of revolution, the principal object of which is the expulsion of foreigners. Revere the emperor and expel the barbarians. The Choshu clan was mainly equipped with large, old, artistically made cannons firing cannonballs. They also had five 8 inch, 200 millimeter Dahlgren guns which were earlier presents from the United States. They also had three steam warships, a bark of six guns, a brig of 10 guns, and a steamer of four guns. The first attack was on June 25th, 1863 soon after the order to expel barbarians came into effect. The U.S. merchant steamer SS Pembroke was at anchor in the Shimonoseki Strait when it was fired upon by two of the rebel ships. The crew of one Choshu ship kept calling, Revere the Emperor and expel barbarians! while keeping up firing their cannons at them. The Pembroke managed to get moving and escaped with only light damage and no casualties. The report of the attack was made from Shanghai and sent to the U.S. Consulate in Yokohama, Japan. The next day, the French naval dispatch steamer Kien Chan was also riding at anchor outside the strait when the Japanese artillery from Shimonoseki opened fire on her. The ship had damage to its engine and four casualties before escaping. On July 11, the Dutch warship Medusa, 16 guns, entered the strait, and the captain thought that the Choshu gunners would never dare to shoot at them, especially with the long good relations between Holland and Japan. But Takachika did. He hit the Medusa with more than 30 shells, killing or wounding nine seamen. The Dutch ship returned to fire and ran the gauntlet of the straits at full speed. The captain was more worried because the Dutch consul general was on board. Within a short time, Mori managed to fire on all ships of most of the nations with consulates in Japan. On July 16, 1863, in a swift answer to the attack on the Pembroke, the U.S. frigate Wyoming, commanded by McDougall, as mentioned before, sailed into the strait 
and fought with the little Choshu fleet for two hours. Two of the Choshu ships were sunk, and another severely damaged. The Japanese had 40 casualties. The Wyoming suffered extensive damage, four dead and seven wounded. One died later of his injuries. The two Japanese steamers sunk were raised again by Choshu in 1864 and attached to the harbor of Hagi. The First Battle, July 20, 1863. After the USS Wyoming's attack, the French Navy retaliated for the attack on their ship. The French force consisted of Marines and two warships, the Aviso Tancred and the Admiral's flagship Semiramis. With 250 men, they destroyed a small town and one artillery emplacement. The French attack was supported by the French government in Japan, but the French government in France didn't approve, since they had other wars to handle and couldn't afford a war in Japan as well. The French governor for Japan was removed in 1864. The captain that led the attack on the town and battery was congratulated by the shogunate government. Foreign diplomats tried to make an agreement with the Choshu to allow passage again. By May 1864, much property belonging to foreigners, like homes, churches, and shipping, were destroyed in the Choshu area. That included the home of the American top diplomat in Tokyo. Through the first half of 1864, Shimonoseki Strait was closed to foreign shipping. Foreign officials met to discuss what to do with Mori Takachika. They decided on a major attack. They decided on a major show of force. The U.S. was busy with its civil war. The British stationed 15 warships. The Dutch sent four. A British regiment from Hong Kong was sent. The French were busy with Mexico at the time, trying to strengthen Emperor Maximilian's regime. Takachika procrastinated, which the Western powers didn't like. The time for action had arrived. Another attack happened in July 1864, when the rebel forced fired on the U.S. steamer Monitor when she entered harbor for coal and water. An ultimatum was sent by an alliance of Western powers. The final battle, September 5th, 6th, 1864. On August 17th, 1864, a squadron of nine British, four Dutch, and three French warships, along with 2,000 soldiers, Marines, and sailors for a landing force under the command of Royal Navy Admiral Cooper, left Yokohama for the Shimonoseki Strait. A U.S. chartered steamer came along as a token of support. The battle on September 5th 6th finally destroyed the Choshu Domain's ability to attack Western powers. Unable to match the firepower of the international fleet and with heavy casualties and with the land force storming the main stockade at Shimonoseki, Choshu forces finally surrendered on September 8, 1864. The casualties were 72 killed or wounded and two severely damaged British ships. The surrender accord included an indemnity of three million pounds from the shogunate to the American leader of the foreign delegation. The Tokugawa couldn't pay that amount and this resulted in more pressure to open more Japanese ports to foreign trade. The port of Hyogo, now called Kobe, was opened for foreign trade and tariffs were lowered to only 5%. Twenty years after the battle, 
the United States returned its share of the reparations payment. After the foreign interventions, the shogunate also began its own punitive expedition against the Choshu. It was aimed at revenge for a separate 1864 Kinmon incident, where Choshu forces attacked shogunate forces in Kyoto. The operation was cancelled, though, when a compromise was made, including the beheading of the leaders of the rebellion. The British Navy then went on to attack the Satsuma Samurai in the bombardment of Kagoshima. Several of the cannons captured at Shimonoseki are in display at European locations, such as these guns at the gate of Les Evelides in Paris. Choshu is written on the cannon. In 2004, Shimonoseki City placed several life-size replicas of the guns used by Choshu where they were captured. They are made of hollow steel and have coin-operated sound and smoke effects. <laughs>